what a difference the week makes. We have walls. My father-in-law took care of this during the week. Installed the, uh, the last of the windows and uh, got all the siding up. And the last thing we're doing, it, or what we're doing today, is getting the uh, roof rafters made. Doing a kind of assembly line fashion. Cutting the ends, stack them over here. Then we got a template. So make those cuts. And we got one finished one that we test everything out with. Um, here's my stack of already cut boards. So we got about five more sets to do, and then I can uh, take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot out today, uh, high 80s, humidity isn't terrible, not for around here at least, but uh, you feel it when you start moving, um, yeah, at least with the breeze. Uh, a couple weeks ago when I was out, last week when I was out, we had no breeze, it was, it was killer. So I am going to finish up today getting these roof rafters assembled, and then I think tomorrow morning uh, before it gets hot. We'll get upstairs and uh, put them up. Um, I walk you inside and give you a look around here. Oh boy! <whistles> he's been tied up because if I'm not watching him, I tie him up now. And once he gets loose, he's uh, looking for chipmunks. Never actually finds anything though. Or he finds them, but can't do anything about them. So, here's the, the back bedroom. Really the only room. There'll be a small closet over there, and that other door opening. And this will be the main door, and right where I'm standing over here will be a bed. And there'll be a smaller bed over on the other side, over there. And then, there. This is the main room. Lots of windows. And in that corner in the front there will be the uh, the wood stove someday when we get around to put it in. We're thinking of actually doing a through the roof install. Uh, for the most part, I've avoided those. I'm always afraid of them leaking, but uh, it does make things simpler. So we'll see how we end up doing that. Makes it easier not to throw through the walls though. So, we'll see. And originally we were actually gonna build the roof uh, with a with a ridge beam, uh, uh, one by six or eight. Um, we decided against that, so we actually don't have any need for these two by fours that are sticking up in the sky other than, I guess if you're falling off, it's one more thing to grab for. So, they'll come down later. Well, we're putting them up and it gives us something to lean against if we need to. Okay. Back to ridge, uh, or to roof rafter manufacturing. So we, uh, got the roof rafters all made. The pile here. Uh, these two are special. They have the, uh, gussets only on one side. Those are double gusseted, one on each side. Uh, these are for the ends. Um, we're going to box in the exposed end anyways. So, uh, we're beat. My back is sore, so there's no point in climbing up and doing anything today. We'll do it tomorrow. Always put off what you can to tomorrow. So, we'll be up on the roof tomorrow. Oh, installing these. That's all I want to get done tomorrow is get these down and get the purlins installed so they don't fall off. And then get some bracing to end. Um, after that we can uh, come up with the steel order for the uh, for the roofing um, but I'm busy the next two weekends so it probably will be three weeks before uh, I come back out so until then it's gonna be a little bit under tarps but uh, yeah not too shabby one of the problems we found with the uh, screen windows we're using is windows in the porch area here. 
is uh, one of the frames is broken. So we're going to have to find somebody who can repair it. Uh, there's got to be somebody who knows how to fix those things. So we'll come back out in the morning and get back to work. Just as hard as this guy is. Right, boy? Oh, yeah, that's me. So if anyone ever wanted to see the inside of one of these suitcase style uh, generators, the plus to these things is they're really nice and light and they're portable. The drawback is that when you break a starter cord, you have to completely disassemble the thing. <laughs> so that's how we start our morning. I pulled it once, pulled it twice, and snap. You have to separate the whole case out. And uh, it's quite a little endeavor. It probably took us half an hour or so to get to this point. And uh, no, we got to get back together and hopefully, put, hopefully it works. Uh, we just put gas in it, that makes it even more fun. So with some luck it'll actually uh, go back together and work. Okay, so <laughs> our over our morning was spent uh, getting that cord back on. If we ever have to take one of these apart, I assume the Hondas and the Yamahas are probably just as difficult. About an hour and 15, hour and a half to take the whole case apart and get the, uh, get, getting the cord out is actually a pain in the neck. There's a, a generator or something, is to the, a regulator I think, to the left of it, so you have, there's not a lot of space. So now we're going to start doing roof rafters, what we actually planned on starting this morning doing. Roof framing is up, roof rafters are up, and we're just putting uh, the top purlin on so we can tarp the building. Whew. Long day. My wife's uh, away for the weekend so I can spend a little extra time, otherwise she'd be pretty ticked off. And I'm not sure, we might fit, fit one extra rafter in on that end, I don't know. We we're just going to put in some uh, some bracing, but it might be less wood just to go ahead and put another rafter in place. We'll see. Seeing as we didn't keep track of the angle, <laughs> it'd be kind of fun to have to remake that. But uh, yeah, it's going to be several weeks before I get back to doing this. Good two busy weekends in a row, so we got to put the steel order in and uh, that'll take a little while to get done. But uh, once the steel is up, the building will be uh, good to go. Yeah, we got to build the upper half walls and some bracing and a whole bunch of other jazz, but yeah, it'll be structurally sound. We got lateral bracing on the other end of the roof, way up in the back. You can kind of see them up over here. So it's keeping it fairly stiff. Once we get the steel up, it'll be stiffer. Um, um beat. So, uh, yeah, we gotta make one more, two more uh, purlins and we're done for the day. And we're just gonna tarp it. So, until next week, thanks for watching. 50 inches.